Hi, I'm Amy from Mola Quince, and we're here with Gregorio Luck. How does it feel for you to represent Frida's life, Frida's paintings? It's difficult for me because uh, I'm a man, and uh, Frida Kahlo is perhaps the most feminine of artists. In her paintings, she very much speaks to us about herself. She speaks about her accident. She speaks about her sorrows, about her miscarriages, about her suffering. And so when you try to analyze her work and to explain it, you also have to try to feel what she was feeling. And it is difficult for a man to do that. You know? It is difficult to understand the, the complexities of, 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 a, of a woman, the challenges a woman faces, and the challenges of somebody that had such a difficult life as Frida. The fact that she had so many problems, so many accidents, so much suffering. And the fact that in spite of these problems, she had this kind of will to keep on creating in spite of the sorrows. In other words, so many times we give up. So many times when faced with adversity, we tend to refuse ourselves from life. And in Vila Kahlo, you have a case of somebody that kept fighting until the end and that even though she was living in agony, you know, of pain, of surgeries, of in an undescriptable sorrow, that she was able to leave us a wonderful work of art and hope and even more happiness. Frida has been like a godmother to me. You know, I've This lecture, I have been giving it for almost 20 years. I've changed it, I've added things. The lecture has grown with me, and it has taken me to places I never dreamed of. I've lectured on Frida in Australia, in Europe, in Latin America, throughout the U.S., and Frida continues to open doors for me. Now, uh, this event, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it because it's opening the doors of a community like Southgate in this case. This was a group of young women that tried to look or to dress like Frida Kahlo. And that is important. To me, it is much more interesting that somebody tries to be like Frida Kahlo than somebody tries to just, you know, look like Miss America. Because to look like Frida Kahlo, you have to do some research, you have to study, you have to look into your past, look into the way, you know, people in Mexico dress. And so every girl that today participated in this fashion show uh, had a little or a lot of Mexico in their hearts when they did that. And it occurred to me that this can be the seed of a wonderful idea. I'm very excited about your magazine, and I think that, I hope that we could do this event in other communities. We live in a horrible world, and I think that women have it very hard. And they have it very hard because I do believe that those people that control fashion in New York and other places are misogynists. That is why they always put forth these models that are impossible to achieve and that people try to look like these models they put forth that tend to be women that are dying of hunger, you know, anorexic, these horrible things they do to people. And, and they have you chasing this model that is impossible to realize and always feeling that you're short, that you're not that model or you're not that person, that beauty that they present as ideal. And so what I like about Frida Kahlo is that she said to hell with you guys. If I have a mustache, I'm keeping it. If I have a bad leg, I'm wearing a skirt. And I'm not going to try to imitate the Americans or the Europeans or anybody else. I'm going to be myself. And if I'm going to take inspiration, I'm going to take inspiration in my own culture. And that does not mean that she's going to repeat the thing of the past because she's very innovative. She combines her clothes. She uses She's very much herself. But she invents her fashion. She invents her beauty. She redefines what it is to be beautiful. She doesn't accept the dictates of fashion of others, the tyranny of somebody else who tells you what's elegant, what's in and what's out. She defines what's in and what's out for her. And she does it with so much power and so much conviction that today, more than 50 years after her death... What message do you give those young girls that have some sort of artistic feeling as in painting with pastel oils or anything like that? Well, I don't 
I, I don't uh, believe that the arts are foreign to people. As a matter of fact, I think that the arts are indispensable to people. And I think that every person that is reading us should try to discover an artist within. And I don't mean painting. I mean, some may want to paint. Others may want to sing. Others may like to dance. Others may be great cooks or chefs, as they say. Others might like to design clothing. Others might like to play an instrument. It doesn't really matter what do you do, as long as you do something creative. And read, study, go to movies, be somebody. So can you say that Frida Kahlo is like a great inspiration for women? Throughout her, let's say, 50 surgeries, she has her spine, her leg being cut off, and her walking and going to that march and standing up for her people. Do you think she's a, like a role model for women? Of course, absolutely. Uh, Frida is a great artist. She's intelligent. She studies. She's political. Be political. Get involved. We can't stand just passively while our community has no opportunity, is not represented anywhere. You have to participate. You have to, to have your voice shown. And that's what Frida teaches us. Frida is... is, is is an example of a person that is thinking, that is trying, that is fighting death, that is fighting sickness, that is not, you know, evading life. And look what a bad life. Look what a hard life. How easy could it have been for her to just consider herself a victim and let people feel sorry for her? She never allowed anybody to feel sorry for her. And she did the best with what she could. She was dealt the bad hand. But that did not mean that she was going to be less. She fought till the end. When, where she saw injustice, she spoke up. She lived according to her own ideas. Those ideas, you may agree with them or not, or you may agree with some of them or not. But nobody doubts Frida's sincerity or her intensity or her ability to be. So I think that she is an example in that sense. She was somebody. She lived according to what her beliefs were. She spoke her mind. She did what she could to be fully alive. We would like to thank you for this interview. And thank you for showing us the culture of, of Frida Kahlo, her way of living and showing us the Hispanics more culture of her. Well, I hope, I hope it works, and, and I wish your magazine the best, and I wish your readers the best. And I wish that uh, out of these hard times, we come out stronger and happier. Thank you. We're here with Karina Guerrero. We're here at the Azalea Festival, at looking at the festival of Look Alike Frida Kahlo. How does it feel to win the Look Alike Frida Kahlo? Well, it feels very awesome and, you know, look alike. But, um, well, I, I found very appreciated to win this contest of a look alike of Frida Caldo. And, well, I'm very excited to win this. So I give thanks to the city of Southgate and I give thanks to my mom because she helped me out in, you know, um, helping me with the, my hair and stuff. What message do you give those girls that have some sort of artistic feeling that feel like Frida Kahlo? Well, for the artistic feeling of being Frida Kahlo, I give the message of, you know, you just go out there, do your best, and whatever you do, just try to accomplish every goal that you have in mind of doing. Make it a reality and make it a dream come true. Thank you. This is Amy from Mola Quince. Back to you, Mola Quince.